Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture from March the 21st of 2021. Well, it is titled the anti kythera mechanism. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of really one of the earliest computers, thousands of years old. And as you can see from the image, uh, buried under ocean water for a long time until recovered aboard a ship down below. And what it is, is actually essentially the first computer that we know of. Now, not any electronic computers, the ones we're used to thinking about today when we think about computers, but a mechanical computer, a way of doing calculations and figuring out what would happen in the sky. And in fact, it took a long time studying this and we still don't even know exactly what it is. Certainly it is no longer operable, but studies of it in trying to remake models of what this what this was like. And you can see there are some of the gears and that are present. And it would have been useful to be able to predict positions of stars, planets, and even eclipses of the sun and the moon. So it's just very interesting to see the complexity that existed 2000 years ago when this was made. And of course, it would be amazing to have something like this to be able to do the calculations that we depend on modern computers to be able to do modern electronic computers, that this would have been able to do the same thing thousands of years ago and to be able to calculate accurately positions of stars and planets. Now, of course, it would also depend on things being Earth centered because 2000 years ago, we did believe that the Earth was the center of the solar system and of the universe. And of course, while we know that is not correct, we can still use that to make calculations and still get accurate numbers. And this was probably done very well and could use for things like navigation and trying to find where those positions were knowing where you were on the earth. It's not very large. If you actually look at the diameters mentioned in the description on the website, you can see that the entire mechanism was only about 33 centimeters in size. So we're looking at a little more than a little more than a foot in size. So a good size size of a good size book. But all of the detailed gears within there and all of the technology that had to have gone into making this shows a lot of what people were able to do thousands of years ago, long before any modern technology would have been helpful. So that was our picture of the day for March the 21st of 2021. It was titled the anti kythera mechanism. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be surround Orion. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.